Hey, what's up guys, it's Sam from BSG Tech. Today we have a Dell Inspiron 15 series, which uh, is having some problems with regard to its charging. As you can see on my screen, sometimes uh, it's charging and sometimes when it's plugged in with the mains charger, the device does not want to charge and uh, the percentage is, is stuck to a certain number. It can be any random number. Uh, like yesterday, it was not charging and for some reason it was stuck to 60%. First two things uh, which you should do is uh, replace your uh, current charger with the correct voltage. Uh, try for an OEM charger if you can find one. For my case, it's a Dell charger which should be at least 65 watt in order to uh, charge my machine. Uh, you can check your requirement based on your system's hardware configuration or you can check them online and then find the right uh, charger. Second thing is you can always replace uh, the old battery. But uh, before replacing the battery, you should uh, try to run some sort of diagnostic. So this will probably fix your problem. So the first thing is we need to see the battery health. For that reason, we need to type run and then type CMD. In CMD, when you are on this page, you have to type this command power cfg backslash battery report which is all one word as you can see on my screen uh, power cfg backslash battery report which uh, will give us a detailed uh, report about the battery health i will add this uh, in the description then we'll click enter and as you can see that the battery life report saved into this path simply copy this from here and then we will go into the run section again and we will paste that uh, path here which will uh, bring us to this page which is uh, a battery report page. On this page you will see detailed report about uh, the battery's health. Installed batteries is batteries 1. If you have two batteries it will show you which you can see on this segment. If you see a lot of suspended uh, uh, notifications on this battery this is the time to replace your battery. So this is how you can check your uh, battery's health and if your battery is draining fast then uh, this bar will show in red which means that your battery has some sort of issues which needs to be fixed uh, it could be software it could be hardware issue or it could be a charger related issue so we are going to try a few tricks and see if they will fix this issue on Dell laptops so moving forward guys first thing you need to do is uh, disconnect your uh, uh, charger and then shut down your machine from the power uh, from this menu don't use the power button in order to shut down your machine uh, you have to follow the on screen options and then after that you have to uh, press the power button once and when you see this boot uh, logo screen you have to press f2 in order to land on the setup utility page which is in front of us now here we have uh, the third option towards the last AC adapter type which is not detected. Now I'm going to do is connect uh, the AC adapter and uh, here we have 65 watt which means that the charging port is fine and uh, you should try to move it in different directions because it's a round charging port and uh, you should see if this is going to detect your charging port just to make sure that your charging port is not faulty. If this does not detect your charging port, there are issues related with your charging port. Possibilities are your charging port is faulty or your charger is faulty or both are faulty in some cases. So we will uh, put it back and we will attach the charger back to the charging port. As you can see that we have uh, AC adapter type uh, detected as 65 watt. If this does not detect, then you can move towards the next step. We'll press F10 which means save and exit and system is going to reboot back to the home screen. So let's wait for the windows to boot up again to the home screen. Straightforward and simple process as you have learned by now, you have to repeat these two things in order to uh, troubleshoot your uh, battery not charging icon. Then look at this area, here we have 98%. Next thing we need to do is uh, we have to go into the run area. We have to type device manager device manager will bring us back to the device manager page here we have batteries icon and in the sub sections we have ac adapter and microsoft api acpi compliant control method battery first thing you need to do is if you have by chance managed to uh, replace the battery with a new one 
you have to click right on uh, the batteries icon and then scan for the hardware changes so system can detect the new battery second thing is you have to click on microsoft ecpi compliant control method battery and then click on scan for hardware changes again and then after that you have to click right click on the same uh, tab and then click on update driver what this is going to do is this is going to bring you on this page which is how do you want to search for the driver click on the first option which is automatically download the driver from the web and you might see this option which means uh, the best driver for your device are already installed then uh, you can move on towards the next step click on uh, the windows icon settings and then look for any pending updates this is very important guys uh, remember if you miss any of these steps then you may, may not be able to fix your battery problem so here you can check for the latest updates sometimes there are critical uh, pending windows update which uh, basically fix all the software issues as well as the hardware problems moving forward if this does not fix your problem then we have another solution and that solution is basically to disconnect your battery and after that uh, from the menu you have to shut down your computer and wait for the machine to completely shut down that means that these lights they should basically turn off all together boot system power as you can see that these lights are gone and then you have to remove your battery from your system or laptop and in order to discharge any uh, battery which is basically stored on your device leave it out for 15 seconds very simple and straightforward guide after 15 seconds connect your battery again make sure that uh, the battery is properly aligned sometimes a little gap uh, on top of the battery connectors with the main board can uh, have huge impact on uh, the battery performance and after that you have to wait for 10 seconds don't connect your mains charger just leave it outside and then turn your machine on and wait for the machine to completely boot up just keep an eye on these lights if they keep flashing that means there is some issue with the bios which i'm going to discuss later in this video but uh, you have to wait for the machine to completely boot up after that i will tell you what to do because uh, as soon as the machine boots up you have to uh, shut it down again so basically we are going to repeat the same uh, process again and in order to complete this cycle you have to keep an eye again on this uh, area yes it's annoying but this might be able to fix your problem and uh, hopefully this will save you some sort of money as well instead of sending your machine for a repair to a repair shop replace the battery and keep it out for let's say 15 20 seconds don't connect your uh, piece, uh, computer or laptop with uh, the ac adapter just leave it there let it stay for 15 seconds and after 15 seconds connect your uh, ac adapter with your power cord and after that you have to press the power button for 15 seconds don't worry about the boot up process if it boots up no problem if it stays as it is you have to discharge your battery and uh, while the mains is connected yes this is very strange but uh, it might work for you guys and after that disconnect and then hold this for 15 seconds again uh, follow this guide guys i know this is very weird but uh, for some reason this worked for me and hopefully this should work for you as well so once you've complete another 15 seconds then connect your mains charger and then press the power button one time remember at this point the battery is not attached with uh, the laptop battery is out the bad the system is going to boot without the battery only on uh, the mains uh, uh, AC adapter and uh, here we have to wait for uh, the system to completely boot up to the main screen and after that it's boot up you have to use it for a few minutes and then shut down from the power menu guys always remember do not use power button especially when you have a battery issue arising up and uh, you're facing this problem of not charging after that disconnect the charger leave it out for 15 seconds press it for another 15 seconds 
and uh, after that you have to attach the battery again and turn the machine on only on this battery which has some sort of charge left or that this will complete the cycle uh, Dell recommended that uh, you can only try one cycle but uh, you can try two cycles three cycles it does not cost you anything and then after that you charge your machine so now we are going back to boot up the machine without the AC adapter being plugged in and uh, as you can see that uh, now we have uh, this bar going through which means the system has detected some sort of changes to its hardware uh, previously when we boot up uh, it's just going through the uh, boot animation and uh, the windows just boot up uh, to the home page without any problem so as you can see it's taking some sort of delay which means there is some issue with the battery or battery connector which we are trying to fix and now you can connect with your ac adapter and uh, monitor the uh, battery percentage if it says plugged in and charging and charge is being stored that's fine otherwise you can uh, move on to the next step so the next step is uh, you have to update the bios guys and for that reason you have to go on to the dell support page uh, dell drivers update and uh, once you land on this page you can always search for the bios uh, driver this this page should automatically detect your machine if that does not you can always find that from the link uh, given in the right hand side on the page and in the search area you can type your serial number and uh, from here you can check for the updates if you can't find that then uh, it will take probably three to four minutes in order to check and if there is any issue it will detect automatically and uh, the page will suggest you to download a certain number of drivers uh, here we have uh, this page which is basically going to identify the dell support assist to detect drivers you can click on download and uh, once the uh, utility is downloaded you can install and open the file and after that wait for the system to detect any changes in your hardware so here we have uh, the system being checked up and uh, this basically is uh, going to evaluate your pc hardware software to make sure it runs uh, uh, the up-to-dated uh, uh, drivers and uh, you need to basically update your bios driver from this page and any other pending drivers so that's uh, uh, the second last option we can do and uh, if we have uh, any success on this page then uh, we are lucky if no then we can move towards the next step which is uh, basically to uh, install a fresh copy of windows uh, whether you have windows 8 windows uh, 10 or even if you are windows 7 user you can try that and do let us know as you can see that we have some sort of update uh, right after we have uh, uh, run this utility which means uh, there are some updates pending now because previously as you have seen in the start of the video there were no pending updates and as soon as we run this utility we have this uh, uh, cumulative update review for dotnet framework 355 and uh, some other updates with these numbers we will click on the restart and hopefully this will fix the problem guys if this does not fix that then it's time to install a fresh windows and if that does not fix your problem then it's time to move on towards a better machine or the next model uh, thumbs up like subscribe and share if this video has you out in any way do let us know in the comment section below if you find any issue or if you have any suggestions i will really appreciate that so i'll see you soon with another video till then take good care of yourself have a good day bye bye